Hey, what's up, guys? It's Afro GG player back in the game for another video. Today, I'm going to be playing my Emery Brawl deck. So, Emery here, what she does is, uh, costs one less for each artifact you control, which is great. And the main thing is, I want to get her at turn two, and the way you can do that is just, I have all my hard, all my, I have a zero drop, and all my one drops are artifacts. So, pretty much most of the time, I'm going to have a one drop, and I can play, and then Emery's just going to come turn two, and it's going to be amazing. Uh, Great ways to use Emery Traverse Amulet. Scalding Cauldron. This can, if you have enough mana, it can do six damage. So that's amazing. Uh, Golden Egg and Spare Supplies are great too. Because they sack themselves and they can give you life. This gets you cards. And yeah, you can just keep reasoning with Emery. Some of them is great if you have a sack outlet such as New Witch's Oven or Relic of Isle. Keep sacking it, keep bringing it back, get more lands in. For second monuments, amazing. Get color creatures plus two plus two, and when you recast the color split, you gain two. This is one of the ways we win. Also, the workshop elders is another great way. All your artifact creatures get flying, amazing, and then you can every single combat you get to turn a non-artifact creature into a into a pretty much a four four artifact creature, F four four flying pretty much. So you can just turn all your artifacts into four fours. Cure best to see gods is a dumb card. Create an eight eight and then tap all their tap all their things and then you can gain and then the third one you gain control of something and yeah shimmer dragon's also great uh if you have a four artifacts which you're hoping to have if you're not that's not that good yeah, and you're not doing well uh yes yeah, hexproof and then you can tap two and tap third effects draw card so this is the deck just trying to just win get get your good artifacts and energies out and then get your big things to like convert them into actual winning such as the elders and that the forsaken monument all right doggos and cats so cats and dogs all right so we have a tormund's crypt and he has a companion of kahira so we can only have oh so this, it's a cat deck then because he can't have any dogs so it's only cats, okay. So I'm gonna wait on the crypt just in case you use some way to remove it. Don't want to fall into that. Know myself for four. Solemn, very good card to have in your very good card to have in your graveyard. Bring it back. All right, planes. Tangled Floor Hedron, some ramp. So I can play this for three. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna play it. No, for three, not two. And I'll just pass. Because I have nothing to do with Emery. <laughs> okay, so here is the commander. Rin and Sari. Maybe I should have held up Essence Scatter, but that's fine. I think now I'm just gonna bring out Sad Robot. To play him. Pride Malkin. Counter on something, and that's gonna give it trample. That's scary. So you can give that trample. I'll double block it because they're just easy to get back. If he attacks with that, I'm double blocking for free. Okay. He has one green, but I don't know if Valley Dive has anything. And it says protection. So this still lives. So he just killed the Solemn Simulcrum, and I just draw a card off it, and I can replay it. And, I'm a, and I can hold up Essence Scatter to make sure he doesn't replay it. His commander. So life's going great. There, yeah, pass. So nothing really happened. All right, so he's gonna bring Kahira into his hand. He can play Kahira. 
prophecy. Okay. I don't care too much. I can just replay it. He puts the Kahira into the bottom. And draws a card. Yeah, whatever. You can have a 1-1 one, one human soldier out there. It's actually good because it gets rid of a cat. So brings down the total of that. Shimmer Dragon. And. Chill. Just want to hold up. Make sure I can deal with that anytime. And that's where it comes in clutch. Ooh hoo hoo. Kiara. So yeah, Kiara wins the game. Oh, he still did. Oh, it's because Fire Prophecy puts one. So I wouldn't know if he still had Kira. So that's why Kira wasn't revealed to me again. Concede, I mean, I can get it. I mean, yeah, Kira's just going to win the game because Kira, that card's dumb. I mean, that card literally just wins. <laughs> Again. Yes, I have time. I'll play one more game. I mean, I was gonna win from there. I was gonna just keep getting value with that Shimmer Dragon. I was gonna tap them, draw a card. Alright, Helio, it's a life gain. Okay. Alright, perfect. Yes, this is a perfect hand. So turn one artifact, and then turn two artifact into Emery, and then we're just gonna go off. Vintage Jorster. Mm. What do you like to trade? No, okay. All right, so he's a bunch of life flinkers. So I can play Travers Amulet and then Emery. I can't I'm called in. I'm saying I'm called in. So nothing good was milled. So I didn't get anything. I'm just sad. Workshop Elders and Gadwick were good cards, so and I can't bring them back. I don't have a way to so. I mean, the, if, when the clock comes, but that's slow. The clock is kind of slow. Okay, so that needs to stop. The Jorster needs to get out, because that is not good. I think I'm just going to have to call during that. Playing on the Elysia. I'm going to have to get rid of the Elysia, because actually that's, uh, I can protect it. So yeah, I'm getting rid of that. And it's fine, so I can't even deal with it anyway, so yeah. I think I might lose. Try 
Torster. It's put the counter on it. If I can draw a land, I can. Perfect. Does it happen? Nice. So we kind of just stop him, which is good. This cauldron doing work. I didn't even think it was actually going to do that much, but even though it's inefficient, it's repeatable, which kind of makes it dumb. Because if you, because you can turn this into six damage, it's really good. Okay, that's a problem. Uh. Mm. Well, I have to set up. I can get rid of it next turn, but that's still gonna do a lot to me. Alright, I need to make sure I hit my land drops. I can copy Helion, but that's just, that just, it literally does nothing for me. Yeah, golden egg. Okay. I have enough, right? I can... Yeah, wait. Oh, I'm one short. I'm one short of actually being able to do the Cauldron Gamba. Because uh, I have to... See. So wait. Three, then I'm going to have three mana left. Yeah. yeah. I'm one short. Yeah, maybe I should have just played the clock, and I could have had it, but... Is so that gonna get two swings at me? Now, with Tassery, that's going to be... Mm. Ah. I'm going to lose. So now I can't even cauldron combo it. I need to find answers. That's what I need to do. Cure our best sea gods coming next turn, but I don't know how well that's gonna do. Now none of these do a shit. <laughs> But, no, I didn't mean to. I mean, we lost. It doesn't, we, we, pro even with Kiara, I still probably lost the game. Because I'm going to have to block. Yeah, because I'm going to have to block. No, the reason I wanted to climb, because I thought that was me, I, oh, I didn't play it. Because I want, because I, actually what I wanted to do is play Kiora, then copy it with the Mirror Maiden that might have been able to save me, but. Well, that was still good. Did that see it worked? I didn't get to show off too much of the cool things you can do with it, but it was still great, you know. I had a lot of fun with it, so yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed, and average MTG player, out.